We are here to discuss the affordable housing crisis in the town of Hempstead. We have numerous families forced to leave their homes, as is represented by where we are standing. Thanks to a partnership between Habitat for Humanity and the town uh, of Hempstead, the house behind me is on the road to recovery. Uh, with this study that me, uh, Senator Kaplan, and the Long Island Six uh, asked for, $215,000 in funding looks for much more rebuilding and creating of homes. We want to find as many options as possible for affordable housing. The funding will explore how the town of Hempstead can keep people in their homes and not force them to flee. This study is an important step to make sure the next generation of families are able to remain in the town of Hempstead. It's no secret that there aren't enough affordable places to live here in Long Island, throughout the Long Island. And the problem affects people across the lifespan, from young, young people who just graduated college and looking forward to moving back to their own communities, and to seniors who are looking for a safe, comfortable place to live their golden days. Without leaving communities they call home, without leaving communities that they help build. That is why I was happy to support funding in our recent enacted state budget to support Hempstead Supervisor Laura Gillen's initiative to fully study the issue of housing affordability, housing sta stability, and the impact that has on Long Island families. So this study is needed to properly assess the affordability of our town, the projected supply and demand of housing, and most importantly, how we can work to identify more housing opportunities to help people like our seniors, like our millennials that are just graduating college and entering the workforce for the first time, and skilled laborers that work hard every day, but are either getting priced out of the communities they grew up in, or they have to move because of rising rents and inability to purchase a home. One option that we can use to add to the supply of our housing stock, and which our study will address, is converting abandoned and foreclosed homes, or zombie homes, into affordable housing opportunities. Zombie homes are a scourge that exists across the entire town, in every community. The town of Hempstead has over 500 zombie homes, 547 by our last count a couple months ago, along with 1,500 homes that are in foreclosure and may be recaptured by the bank, potentially going unoccupied for years and sometimes even decades. Uh, we're so, so happy to be here uh, on this day to be a part of something that's going to help and benefit the entire county, the entire town of Hempstead. Uh, we at Habitat are very much for collaboration, so we appreciate the six, the senators, the senior councilwoman, the mayor of the village of Hempstead, because all of you have collectively been a supporter of Habitat for Humanity over the years. So we continue to want to partner with each and every area of Nassau County, the village of Hempstead, and many of the villages and the towns that are a part of Nassau County. We can all agree that there needs to be improvement here and uh, Senator Kaplan and I and all the Senate colleagues, we are grateful to have partners here in the town of Hempstead and in the village of Hempstead and uh, Habitat for Humanity for working with us to improve the lives of individuals.